We previously covered in a different video how you can farm SLP and other tips that you can use in the arena. Now, the game mag is going to give you tips on how you can farm SLP and get better at the adventure mode. To summarize, while arena is the PvP aspect, the adventure mode is the PvE aspect. You will be pitting your axes against the computer or AI enemies. When doing the adventure mode, the stages called ruins are locked. You have to complete the current ruin to unlock and progress in the mode. You can always replay those finished ruins over and over, which we'll cover in depth why in a moment. Sit back and relax as the game mag gives you some SLP farming tips in adventure mode. Number 1. Understanding Energy Energy is a key resource that you need when you do adventure or PvP. Going on a ruin or a match in the arena will cost energy. The amount of energy that you get depends on how many axes you have. If you have 3 to 9 axes, you get 20 energy each day when the time of the game changes to the next day. Having 10 to 19 axes will give you 40 energy and over 20 axes, you get 60. It is important that you spend all of your energy, regardless if it is in the adventure mode or arena. Let's say you have 320 energy left and the day changes to the next one. Those 3 remaining energy will not stack. You will lose them because it will replenish back to 20. Just use it before the day changes. And that's another thing, you have to find out what time in your area changes to the next day. Keep in mind that the game's time is based on the servers of the Axie, so once it hits 12 midnight, it's a new day. It may not be 12 midnight in your area, which is why you have to find out the reset time in yours. Number 2. Take advantage of the energy replenishment Here's a good thing, the energy will replenish every 6 hours and you will get 5 more. If we do the math, I know math sucks but go with me on this one, 24 hours divided by 6 hours means that you can get 4 replenishment for free. That's 20 bonus energy for you. The key here is that, let's say the day already changed in your area and you got a fresh batch of energy. If you have more than 20, the replenishment time varies. You get replenishments for every 3 hours if you have 10 to 19 axes, which means that a total of 40 free energy. Then, having 20 more will allow you to replenish 5 energy every 2 hours, and that's around an additional 60 free energy a day. You have to take advantage of these replenishments by consuming the right amount of energy before the hour the replenishment comes. These will not stack, so if you have full energy, you will not get the bonus 5 since you're full. If you have only spent around 3, then you get the 3, but miss out on the 2. Having these free energy replenishments help you farm faster and more effectively. Number 3. Get more axes. This one really isn't that feasible for everyone, but you have to get more axes. Just as we stated earlier, the more axes you have, the more energy you can get. This goes to the fact that spending money means you can farm more SLP with the more energy that you have. Get more axes, if you can afford it of course, and even breed a couple of them. The more axes means the more energy for farming SLP, but remember, the SLP you can get on adventure is only capped at 50. So what I'm basically saying is spend, spend, spend. Oh what, you were planning on saving that money for a special night with your girlfriend slash boyfriend? Too bad, to the arena! Number 4. Maximizing your SLP intake there was something in number 3 that you probably didn't know, especially if you're starting up. We're talking about the amount of SLP you can farm a day in Adventure Mode, which is just 50. They pretty much kept it out so that players won't be farming a ton of SLP daily so that the economy wouldn't be a mess. That being said, doing the Adventure Mode first is ideal, especially if you want to get EXP for your axes. Spending your energy there is needed, because you cannot gain EXP when you don't have energy. Whatever energy is left or those that you get as free replenishments should be used in the arena. Finally, do the daily quests, because they will net you 25 SLP as well. When you look at it, you can get a guarantee minimum of 75 SLP a day. That's because how you do in the arena will determine additional SLP that you can get to add to that 75 SLP. Always keep in mind as well that you need energy for the arena to get SLP. Number 5. Maybe focus on arena for the energy usage. Here's a little trick. As we mentioned, you need one energy to do the adventure or arena. We also mentioned that you need energy to gain EXP during adventure mode. However, if your axes are that strong enough or have the right amount of level, then you can do the arena first. This tip is good for those that do not have a lot of axes. It is even better if they only have 3, since all the EXP pretty much just goes to them. 
What you do is that you focus all your energy into the arena. Meanwhile, as you are waiting for the replenishment of energy, you can do the adventure mode. You may be wondering how you can do the adventure mode when you don't have energy. The answer is that you can do the ruins without energy. The only drawback here is that your axes won't receive EXP, but will receive SLP. That's right, even if you don't have energy, you can do the ruins over and over again until you max out on the daily 50 SLP limit for adventure mode. This is a neat trick when you don't have any axes that you want to level up and focus the rest of the energy on arena alone. Number 6. You should also level up your axes. Tip number 5 sounds good, but you really need to get your axes going before you even do that. When you're just starting out, focus on adventure first for two reasons. One is, and I'm being blunt here, your axes are at level 1, they're essentially weak sauce, and you will just get annihilated in the arena by stronger opponents. You don't have to spend all of your energy in the arena because you'll probably cap out at the free daily 50 SLP rewards. Leveling up your axes is your primary objective, especially if they are still so weak. Oh, it's pitiful. Look at those level 1s. They're basically babies. Useless. I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. It doesn't matter if you buy or breed an axie, they will all start at level 1. You can't buy a high level axie, so the tricky part later is when you get more axies. Your attention may be divided into which ones you need to level up first. Just try to analyze which ones you need to focus, especially if you just bought a new Axie. Number 7. Get the one-time SLP rewards Axie Infinity is like those actual video games, especially mobile games where they reward players with one-time rewards. Think about getting an achievement that you only have to do once. Doing these one-time rewards will net you up to hundreds of SLP. These one-time SLP rewards are just like beating a boss in the ruins and others. Just check out what's available that you can complete, depending on how strong your Axie team is at the moment. Don't worry, because these one-time achievements won't go away, even if you fail at them. They will be there until you actually complete them and claim the SLP rewards. Number 8. Choosing a Ruin to Farm SLP this is where the game elements come into play. Aside from forming your Axie teams, this is the part where you have to think like a gamer. Which, I mean, for this channel, there's no way that's actually going to be easy for you. <laughs> I can't say that with a straight face. Different SLP rewards can be obtained depending on what level of the ruin you are going to. If you could take a look at the screen here, our lovely editor has put up the chart of the amount of SLP that you can get per ruin. The amount that you can get is random, but it is within the threshold. If you take a look, doing these ruins from level 1 to 4 will only only net you one SLP, and that's a guarantee. The ones like level 17 to 20 will randomly reward you with around 5 to 10 SLP. The other factor is that the higher the level, the more difficult the ruin is. You have to choose a good ruin to farm SLP based on how good your axes are. However, we go back to the fact that you can do SLP farming without the need for energy. There are those that farm level 10 to 14 if they are guaranteed 4 SLP drops after each completion. Meaning, they just have to play 12 ruins from those levels to cap out the SLP at 50, even without using energy. Plan out your strategy, and it also depends on how much time you can invest per day. If you have nothing better to do, which let's be real, if your country's currently on lockdown, you probably don't, then just farm safe on the lower levels until you cap out on adventure mode. Number 9. Grind some more when needed. This is another trick that gamers do when they are stuck. Remember playing an RPG and you got stuck at the boss? Oh, that always sucks! This applies here, because some of these ruins will be hard and they will defeat your Axie team. Your solution is to grind a lot of EXP to get your Axies stronger. The infamous Ruin 12 have blocked a lot of players in the past. This Ruin 12 has three hard and tough rock monsters, and if you can't defeat them, you can't complete the level, thus not letting you proceed to Ruin 13. Just do the lower levels and earn EXP until your axes get strong enough to beat Ruin 12 and the later ruins. Take a look at the chart in the video to see how much EXP you can get per ruin just to help you out which ones you might want to take. Number 10. Don't forget the basics and keep yourself updated. Never forget the basics like your Axies team formation. Remember, the tank should be at the front, the heavy hitters at the back, and whoever else is left or has a balance stat build can be in the middle. 
This will never go away, and it is like that for the arena as well. Even if you're competing against the AI, the formation is pretty much the same. Keep updated on the latest changes and meta. This helps when you plan on buying or breeding new axes. Take a look at what are the best axes to help you farm those ruins much faster. Plus, the updates when the season changes, because there might be news that will be favorable. We mentioned that you get max 50 SLP for Adventure Mode, but back then you had a 100 SLP cap, which is a bit of a shame as to why they decreased it. Did you get all that? Then that's good, because farming SLP in Adventure Mode isn't that demanding, especially when the daily SLP you get is capped at 50. Future updates may change that, but hopefully not by decreasing it. Please God, do not decrease it again, guys, please. No, don't do that again. Did you like the video? If you did, leave a like and tell us your thoughts in the comments for more.